Hi everyone, I'm Emma from We Wear Cute. I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how we made this Crazy Loom Oreo bracelet. It's super easy and only takes three different band colors, so you really only have to get three if you're just starting out, so it's really easy. And it makes a great gift because it's really sentimental because you obviously made it for the person you're gifting it to. Um, let's see how we make it. This is what the bracelet looks like on. It's really cute because it looks like a row of Oreos and they're all separated and it's my favorite bracelet. Make sure that you stay to the end of the video to see who the TikTok YouTube shout out winner was and comment the cookie emoji to enter a shout out on every YouTube video. Don't forget to leave your TikTok handle so that we can pick you as a winner. We're also going to be giving away the Oreo Crazy Loom bracelet. All you need to do to enter the giveaway is make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel, follow our Instagrams, our TikTok, and comment hi below. Don't forget to like this video. This is my rubber band box. This is where I keep some of my favorite bands. Obviously I have ones that are in different containers, but this is like the main one that I use. So I have all of these colors, some neons. Um, this one's really pretty. This is like a transparent like aqua. And then a tie dye pink and blue. Um, obviously you can tell this is my favorite color because it's literally empty. Um, I also keep like all of the clips in this one little compartment so that I don't lose them because they're so tiny. And I have these hooks. And also these are my bracelets that I made, some of them. I have other ones in like bins, but these are just like my favorites that I keep for inspo. Um, they're so cute. This one's really pretty too. If you guys want a tutorial on how I made this one, it's like a wave uh, pattern, it's super easy. Um, but yeah, this is my case with all my different colors. So for this, obviously you only need three bands. You're gonna need white, you're going to need black, and lastly, you're gonna need your good old clear, which I'm also almost out of, but clear. Um, you could use anything for the base because all the clear is, is like this part of it. So you could use pink, blue, whatever you wanna do, just not black or white. So let's make it. So what I'm using today to make the Oreo Crazy Loom is the Super Crazy Loom from Crazy Art. And it also comes with a pick too, so you can, you know, hook everything over. That's what I'm using, just so you guys know. All right, so let's get started with the beginning of our Oreo bracelet. So you're gonna start off with a clear band and you're just gonna make a figure eight. So that's what it looks like, or an infinity sign, whatever you wanna call it. That's what it would look like from the top view. And then you're gonna grab another clear band and go across without twisting it. So it's just straight across. Now you're gonna grab your hook. Oop, I dropped the hook. And then you're gonna grab the bottom layer the first one that you put down, the eight one, and bring that towards the center over it. So it should just kind of look like a little bow now with a little knot in the center. That's what it should look like. I'm gonna just use the end of the hook and push it down, not too down, just go down like that. And I'm going to grab another clear. There's, there's a lot of clears in this. Grab one more clear and you're gonna bring it right on top again, just like that. And you are going to lift up the bottom one and put it in the center and then grab one of these and bring it right across. So if that didn't make much sense, you guys can basically just look at the side of it because that's what it should look like. It should be the hook kind of like a C shape there and then that original second step that we had. So it's just kind of connecting this to that. So that's what it should look like if you want to pause it and just look. So before we add our black and white bands, you're just going to want to grab one more clear and you're just bringing it right across to the two pegs. This part is super easy. You're just, you see how there are the three here and then the two here. You're going to grab the first one on this side and you're going to hook it over to the middle. Just like that. I'm gonna push it down with my finger so I have enough room for the black. And now we're ready to make our cookie. Now it's time to make your cookie. So for this, you're gonna need two black ones and one white rubber band. So grab your first black one and you're just gonna twist it around like this. And I'm just pushing it down so that everything kind of stays in place. Now you're gonna just grab the white and twist it around once again. Sorry, I just have to move it for myself because my nails okay and then grab black again and you're just gonna keep just doing it 
till you have all three on. Good, so now you have the first cookie and I'm just gonna bring out the bracelet for reference. This is what it's gonna look like. So that's the first one. So now to loom it, it's really easy. All you're gonna do is go on the opposite side, the opposite peg and grab the first and the second, hold it down and bring it over right on top, just like that. Now you're going to loom over your cookie. So for this, you're gonna hook the first two black ones like this and bring it over. The white ones, bring it over. And the last black one, bring it over. And here's your first cookie. All right, once you're done making your cookie, grab one more clear. Like I said, there's a lot of clear, so make sure you got enough of it. Now you're going to make sure you bring over this one right here. It's the second one down on the side where we made the cookie and bring it into the middle. And then this one right here, bring it into the middle, just like that. The next step you're going to bring, so there are the two sides here, obviously it's one band. You're gonna go in with the side that you made the cookie and you're going to bring this over to the other peg so we make that like C shape, like that. So that's all one band and then you have two on this side. So you should have a total of four little sections. Now you're going to grab another clear band, stretch it all the way across and, oh Frankie's, whining over there now you're going to grab again on the side where you made the cookie you're going to want to grab i think he's having a bad dream you're going to want to grab the middle one and the bottom one and bring it over to the center just like the end and pull it down so just do it like that one more time and i'm just wrapping it around my fingers it is a lot easier just like this so just black white, black, and then we're gonna show you how to loom it into the cookie again. It's a lot easier when you're making the cookies to hold everything down because you don't want it to like slingshot up and then your cookie's like <laughs> ruined. So that's what you're gonna do. You made your cookie and now it's time to loom it. So for this, you're gonna grab, just like I showed you before, the first and the middle one and bring it all the way over to your cookie just like this and I'm pulling down the black because you don't want it to like lose order. I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> All right, so that's what it should look like. And now it's time to bring over your cookie. So this is again, really easy, but make sure that you're not bringing any other layers up. So bring up the first layer, the second, and the last. So after you made your second cookie, everything starts to get really repetitive and really easy. So you're just gonna grab your clear again and you're going to bring over your, the second one on this side, oops, the, the second one on this side and then the second one on the other side just like this. And then now's when you're gonna make that C shape. So you're just gonna bring it over, right like that. And now it's time to put another clear band down like this. So put down another clear band right on top of that. And you're just gonna bring up this last one right into the center, just like that. So now it's time to make our cookie. So we are going to do one more cookie. And again, it's the same thing. You just grab the black, you twist it around itself once. You're gonna grab a white and twist it around itself another time. Place it on top of the black, making sure you push, oopsies, making sure you push it all down just like this. And honestly, after a while, you just like, just do it. It's so much easier when you do like the second or third cookie, you just know what you're doing after that just like that. And now it's time, you're just gonna bring the first and the second, just like that, the first and the second, and bring it back over to your cookie and start to loop it. I 
I am done now, but it should be personalized to the wrist, the size of your wrist. So for me, I have kind of a lot, but if you're like a tiny person, you would have maybe that much or whatever. So to see if it's your size, you just want to kind of like wrap it around your wrist and match it up. And this is the size for, this is like the size for me, how, what it would fit me. But for you or someone else, it might be different. But now I'm going to show you how to finish it up. So for the last step, you're going to take this out from the inside of your loom. So this is what it is. You want to stretch it, but don't rip it or anything. And then I wrap it around the last, this peg across from it like this. And this is going to make this next step a lot easier. So for this step, grab your little hooky hook and you're going to wrap, put your hook through the clear bands that go on each peg. So that's the first one. And then this is the second one, just like that. Pull it off. You're not done. Don't let go because it'll get ruined. And stretch it like this. I'm gonna put my finger through it. And now you're just, you have that, right? This is what it is. You have this giant little thing and you're gonna grab a clear band. Wait one sec, let's take a good look. You're gonna, yeah, so this is what it is. You have the bands from here mm -hmm. and then you're gonna stretch it, grab a clear band, stick it through. I'm gonna just use my nail and Voila. It doesn't, it's not actually hard to do, but like that. Now you're all done. The last one's going to be a little kooky looking, not horrible, but it's just going to be a little, I don't know, stretched looking, but this is the bracelet. I'm just going to keep this on my finger like so. It's really cute. Also like a, like a finger earring or whatever you want to call it, like a finger ring. You could leave that like a finger ring. I'm completely kidding. And now grab your little clips. These um, come with, I'm pretty sure, you know, the kits that you buy from Crazy Loom. I'm going to grab one of them. I like these clips so much. And attach it. Just like this. And now it's attached. And now it's, it's, you could, it's free going. It's not going to rip. It's all good. And if you want to make this, I guess you can make it like a keychain or something. You can make an Oreo keychain. You can make keychain. it an Oreo keychain, but for the video, I'm just showing you guys how to make the bracelet. So all you need to do now is take it, wrap it like a circle, and then the last two here are going to go onto that clip. So it's exactly what we just did. If you've made any other bracelets, you know how these work. You just kind of put it through like that. See that? That's where it would go. And now you've got your bracelet. They look like, what I like to do is kind of just pull it a little bit and that's gonna make sure that the layers are showing. So if you pull it, you'll be able to see each layer of the cookie and then the white and all that just by stretching it a little bit. Um, and this is what the bracelets look like. I love them so much. They're so cute. You can wear them as anklets, which I think I'm gonna do. Um, oh my gosh, that's so cute. I'm gonna wear it as an anklet. So look how cute those are. I love these bracelets. We are doing a giveaway, so make sure you join that giveaway. Again, just follow our Instagrams, TikTok, and make sure you subscribe and like this video. Um, comment a cookie emoji so that we know you are entered. Time for your TikTok YouTube shout out, where your TikTok gets featured on our YouTube video. And this shout out goes to Cassidy.Jacobs123. We love you so much, Cassidy. Thank you so much for your support. You mean the world to us. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Make sure you like this vid and enter the giveaway.